Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Black man wearing MAGA hat gives stunning response to why America is great. This is great to see, and it blows away the whole liberal media narrative. Monday evening, as President Trump prepared to announce his SCOTUS pick to replace Justice Kennedy. Hundreds of protesters held demonstrations in front of the Supreme Court opposing the pick before they even knew who it was. But what really stood out was the moment the protesters became confrontational with and aggressive towards Trump supporters who were there as well. One of them included Ricardo Cardwell, a black man wearing a Make America Great Again hat. But after all was said and done a Breitbart reporter was able to interview Cardwell, and what he said was epic. Here is more via Dennis Michael Lynch. After the dust all settled, a Breitbart reporter interviewed Cardwell, and posted the video on Facebook. The video has already gone viral, with almost 2 million views. The worst thing about the conversation between myself and the left-wing supporter is that she wouldn't give me a chance to answer," Cardwell said, adding that the woman wanted to talk about slavery. I guess she feels like since I'm black, I have to relate to slavery, and that's got to be a hot-button issue. Never mind the fact that I've never been a slave and don't know anyone who has," he added. He said the woman referred to his hat, and asked, when was America great? He said he told her, America has been great from the very start, because this nation was founded on the principles of freeing us from tyranny. He said whether it be from Britain, or from slavery in the US, and said there were a lot of people in this nation who didn't agree with slavery. In case she doesn't know, there was a civil war, and a whole lot of white people died because they wanted this nation, and people like myself to be free, he said, almost near tears. This nation gives you the right to move yourself up out of any poor, bad position that you're in, like no other nation," Cardwell said. Wow maybe if the left was as smart, balanced and level-headed as this guy maybe our nation wouldn't be in the state it's in. Where the media have made it their goal to attack a sitting president day in and day out. A president who has done nothing to warrant this treatment other than beating the left-wing darling that is Hillary Clinton. This is actually the response most African American people should be giving. None of them alive today were slaves and none of them know any slaves. And none of us white people alive today owned any slaves or sold any slaves. But because the powers that be see profit in forwarding the agenda of victimhood our nation can't come together as one people. They need to keep us divided to conquer us. The moment everyone wakes the hell up and sees that America really isn't a racist nation and that most people out there love their fellow man then we will indeed be great. But until that day comes we will have to continue to listen to the media and to charlatans who profit from the divide. Here is more on the Supreme Court pick via Fox News. President Trump nominated appeals court judge Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court Monday night to replace retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy, ending a days-long guessing game that began the moment Kennedy announced his retirement and setting the stage for a grueling confirmation fight. In televised remarks from the East Room of the White House, the president praised what he called Kavanaugh's impeccable credentials, unsurpassed qualifications and a proven commitment to equal justice under the law. There is no one in America more qualified for this position, and no one more deserving," Trump said. Kavanaugh had been considered a frontrunner ever since Kennedy's June 27 retirement announcement. Trump conducted a swift and decisive vetting process, eager to push for confirmation of his second Supreme Court pick in less than two years. Though the president said Monday his nominee deserves robust bipartisan support, many Democratic lawmakers had vowed even before the announcement to oppose Trump's choice. In his own remarks. Kavanaugh looked ahead to what's expected to be a bruising confirmation fight, I will tell each senator that I revere the Constitution. I believe that an independent judiciary is the crown jewel of our constitutional republic. If confirmed by the Senate, I will keep an open mind in every case, and I will always strive to preserve the Constitution of the United States and the American rule of law. He said a judge must interpret the law, not make the law. The four finalists, Kavanaugh and fellow appeals court judges Amy Coney Barrett, Thomas Hardiman and Raymond Kethledge, were drawn from a list of 25 names vetted by conservative groups. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.